Hi there, welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Teresa LaBarbera. Thank you for joining us today. Coming up, Citizens Bank is heavily involved in the community and believes good banking is good citizenship. Last July, Neighborhood Housing Services was named a champion in action for bringing beauty and pride back to area neighborhoods. We'll give you an update on how this organization is really making a difference in the community. Plus, good things come to students who give back. We'll tell you about the True Fit Good Citizen Scholarship and meet a local recipient. And Citizens Bank is also a supporter of New Haven Restaurant Week happening November 11th through the 16th. And I'm in the kitchen here with Chef Claire Criscuolo and Nancy Carrington from the uh, CEO. She's the president and CEO of the Food Bank in Connecticut. Ladies, thank you for being here. Thank you, Therese. Um, so let's talk about the partnership between Restaurant Week and the Food Bank. Well, for the second year, Connecticut Food Bank is partnering with New Haven Restaurant Week and Citizens Bank and raising money to support the Food Bank. Donors uh, during the Restaurant Week, which runs November 11 to 16, donors will have the opportunity to, or diners will have the opportunity to add a, a dollar to their tab, which will come to the food bank. That's great, and they should definitely do that. And Claire, we know that Basta Restaurant is involved in Restaurant Week. And uh, what are you making for us today? We're going to make a butternut squash and broccoli rob dish, and it's That's fabulous lovely. for the fall and really delicious and very healthy. Added bonus. Added bonus, always. All right, ladies, let's start the show. Look right into camera two. Tell everyone what they need to do. Sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. A few days after I went to Aspen Dental, I was at work. I was at the grocery store. I was walking down the street. And someone said, you have a beautiful smile. I just stopped. No one had ever said those words to me before, ever. Right now, get 20% off general dentistry services and select denture styles with payments as low as $25 per month. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL or schedule an appointment at aspendental.com. I think I could live to be 100 and never explain how good that felt. Chris Murphy is a funny guy. He thinks getting a special loan deal from a big campaign supporter and then voting to bail him out wasn't a big deal. Then he said skipping nearly 80% of his hearings was okay. Now Murphy brags about helping electric boat in Groton. Uh, Chris? That submarine in your commercial, it's from Norway, not Groton. Chris Murphy is a funny guy. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. If you've been injured in a slip and fall accident, I want to give you an important piece of advice. If you're able, make sure you use your camera or phone to take pictures of the dangerous condition. Once a repair is made or a substance is cleaned up, evidence is lost forever. With technology today, evidence can be preserved immediately. If you have questions, call 1-800-PERKINS. Jonathan Perkins Injury Lawyers. Get the power of Perkins. Since 1979, Neighborhood Housing Services of New Haven has helped to beautify the area by empowering homeowners to take charge of their neighborhoods. Last July, they were named Citizens Bank's Champion in Action. Joining me now are Ned Handy, the President of Citizens Bank in Connecticut, and Rhode Island, Jim Paley, the Executive Director of Neighborhood Housing Services, and Tammy Chapman, a New Haven homeowner. Everyone, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Teresa. Thank Great Ned, to be here. Uh, first, let's talk about what it means to be a citizen in action. Oh, it's just, uh, it's an unbelievable family that we've created together with 10 years 39 and, and Jim and his team are the 39th champion in Connecticut and it's uh, so it's part of a family it's also someone that we recognize as being a, a huge contributor in the in the neighborhoods all right and let me ask you why neighborhood housing services were chosen right so the category for for this period was neighborhood revitalization and and having spent some time with Jim and two weeks ago I had the opportunity as part of the program to to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Jim and drive around the neighborhood and and what they do in some of the toughest neighborhoods in New Haven is incredible. Jim, actually give us some more detail about the program. Sure, well first I just wanted to thank uh, both Citizens Bank and News 8 for the support, uh, the mon monetary support which makes it possible for us to do what we do and the coverage that brings our program to people's attention all over the area. Mm -hmm. um, we have worked for 32 years doing neighborhood revitalization, stimulating home ownership, uh, making it possible for people to borrow money, to take out loans, to fix up their properties. And we work in a concentrated neighborhood revitalization 
project area. Okay. So Newhallville is the neighborhood in which we're focusing our attention right now, taking clusters of houses and trying to develop the worst abandoned blighted properties into home ownership opportunities, such as the house that, uh, that Tammy and her husband James purchased on Winchester Avenue, and being able to expand those clusters to be able to finally address the many, many problems with absentee owners who don't maintain properties and abandoned blighted properties in New Hallville to make it a neighborhood of choice. Now let me ask, uh, as a Citizens in Action, what did they get? So, so uh, thirty-five thousand dollars untethered, so they can. Jim, Jim does such good things with money, whether it's private sector or public sector. So they can do whatever they want with the thirty-five, which I think is valuable. Sure. They get a ton of visibility with your help. News Eight does a PSA and does um, volunteer work. They get visibility on your website and on the, on the Citizens Bank website. So. Um, really brings to light the great work that, that Jim is doing. Very good. Now, Tammy, I want to bring you into the conversation. Tell me how Neighborhood Housing Services helped you and your husband. Sure. So they helped us in the pre-purchase process, um, buying the home, going through the mortgage process. But I think that one of the more valuable pieces is what happens after, mm -hmm. um, because a lot of homeowners may be new, they may be inexperienced, so they give you a lot of counseling, um, workshops to keep you prepared, keep you uh, ready to maintain your home. Okay, and you have five little ones in the house. How's yes. it been? Almost a year? Oh, yeah. It's been really busy and really a lot of fun. We've learned a lot. All right, Thanks now tell me, sure. you are going to do a demonstration yes. for us. Uh, run us through the details a little bit. Sure. Well, we're going to show a basic uh, weatherization of a window using uh, shrink wrap film, which is very inexpensive, it's low cost. It doesn't take a lot of time. And it's one of the things that they do feature at the NHS workshops for energy efficiency. So, Jim, other um, energy saving tips for homeowners? Sure. Um, we actually run classes that are free of charge at our LEED Platinum Certified Home Improvement and Energy Conservation Laboratory. And we will show people not only in saving um, energy from wrapping windows, but also things that have to do with plumbing uh, and information uh, about various energy conservation measures. We really support sustainability. We know that our first-time home buyers need to conserve their resources, both natural resources and mon monetary resources so we want to make the homes as energy efficient as possible we make all of our homes uh, bring them up to energy star standards and then give people tips on how to do things themselves in our lab so these classes people just need to contact us find out when the classes are offered and uh, we'll show people a whole variety of different do-it-yourself techniques sure. and so forth all right Tim will you show us what you learned here okay well I'm how gonna... can I help you okay <laughs> Ned I'm gonna have you stand on that side and um, we've actually already applied a double-sided tape. Now, did you do this at your, in your home? We, um, we aren't going to do this. Okay. We actually have very energy-efficient windows. Okay. But the counselor for the workshop uh, told us that she actually does this at her home. All right. So this is something that's very practical. Um, I like the fact that you can actually just lift off this double-sided tape like this. Oh, that's handy. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's very simple. It's just a matter of measuring and making sure you're... Your cuts are made to the right size. Is this something that would stay up all winter, or this would stay up until the spring? That's okay. right. Yeah, and we're just going to apply it as firmly as possible. The key is really trying to get it as taut and tight to the window frame before you apply any heat to it. Thank you, Ned. Mm-hmm. And you really can't even tell it's on the windows. The thing about the, once you clean up the edges, yeah, right? the technology for the uh, shrink wrap has really come a long way. They used to make windows look very murky, and people uh, did not like to have the plastic up all year because they felt like they were living in a fishbowl. Tammy, you're an expert on this. <laughs> <laughs> have you learned a lot for the program? I have. I really have. And the, the great thing is that uh, post purchase, we were given a book, a binder, and the binder contained a lot of information on how to maintain our home. So I'm just going to run this blower right. across. The the That's tape. basically it, right? That's Your it. windows are better insulated. That's it. All right, we're just about out of time. I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for the demonstration. And, of course, for more information about the Neighborhood Housing Services of New Haven, call 203-562-0598 or visit nhsofnewhaven.org. All right, sounds good, guys, and congratulations on your new home. Thank you. All right, coming up next, we'll give you a delicious preview to New Haven Restaurant Week when style returns. Don't go anywhere.
table and not four, but six chairs in your choice of natural, espresso, or black and cherry, only $3.99. Add not just a server, but a wine rack server, only $5.98. You'll be proud to serve your family and friends on my Branson. Linda McMahon doesn't need any of the benefits like Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. She's a multimillionaire. Maybe that's why she's proposed a sunset provision that could end Social Security. To take that away is just wrong. I have earned Social Security. McMahon also said she's willing to look at ending Medicare's guaranteed benefit. Linda McMahon doesn't have a clue. Linda McMahon is just not for us. The Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. After your car wreck, you deserve to know what's going on with your case. Imagine getting instant access to your file, day or night. I'm Carter Mario. We give our clients exclusive 24-7 online access to their case file. Just click to see up-to-the-minute details from your computer or smartphone. A law firm that's always there for you. Imagine that. Get Carter. 1-800-900-6700. Pub table and not four, but six pub chairs in your choice of natural, espresso, or black and cherry, only $3.99. Add not just a server, but a wine rack server, only $5.98. You'll be proud to serve your family and friends on my Branson. Mark your calendars for New Haven Restaurant Week. It's happening November 11th through the 16th. More than 40 local restaurants are taking part. It's a perfect time to experience the culinary talents of local chefs, plus help in the fight against hunger. Joining me now are Nancy Carrington, the president and CEO of the Connecticut Food Bank, and Chef Claire Cruscolo, the owner of Basta Trattoria, which is right downtown. Yes. Very good. Welcome back to the show, both of you. Thank you. Um, so we're talking about how uh, you take part in Restaurant Week. You have the option of donating an extra dollar. That's right. Where does it all go? Well, with one dollar, we can feed one person for one day through the Connecticut Food Bank system. We work with donations of food from the food industry at all levels, and from the dollars that are donated in this way, we're able to purchase at highly discounted wholesale rates. So a dollar goes a long way. It does, and you said last year you made somewhere around $14,000 doing this. That's right, and we're hoping this year we'll do even better. It's pretty easy. It's a great option. And Claire, you've been taking part in Restaurant Week for more than nine years. This is our ninth, this is our ninth one, so it's, it's wonderful. It's a great opportunity to try new restaurants. It's a great opportunity to get a three-course meal for $32. It's a bargain. And it's a great way to support Connecticut. <laughs> Connecticut Food Bank, which That's is true. a wonderful thing. All right, and what are we going to make today? Well, today we're making broccoli rabe with butternut squash, and butternut squash is super plentiful this time of year. It's available actually at the even at the food bank, okay. so that people who need to go there can have it. Now, butternut squash is wonderful, and it's loaded with vitamin A and really healthy. So all you do is you take it and you peel it, okay, just like I have here, and then you're going to actually cut off each end, right. and then stand it up, cut down, open it up, and you've got these seeds. You could just scoop out the seeds because you don't want to put They're those like in the pot. They're not like pumpkin seeds? We they don't eat them? <laughs> they actually are, and you can oh. eat them. Oh, you could okay. just roast them in a 350-degree oven, um, and they're rich in protein and fiber and delicious. Then all you do is just cut it and cube it. Okay. Okay, so I heated about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm putting in four cloves of garlic, and I'm going to just let that sit there for a minute. Okay. And then you're just going to cut cubes of the butternut squash. Now, butternut squash is available year-round. It's a form of pumpkin squash, so you could use like acorn squash, mm -hmm. you could use Hubbard squash, but butternut squash, honestly, I love the color, I love the texture and flavor, but also, it's a lot easier to peel. Well, that's a big added bonus then, it's right? It's a big added bonus. Do they bonus. taste different, all the squashes, or you know, they are they pretty a, similar? I think the flavor is very similar. Like acorn is a little more watery, if you will. This okay. is a little bit more um, condensed, so this is a firmer squash. Uh, but they're delicious, and they're all really healthy for you, and it's nice to just experiment and try different kinds. Sure. Now, Nan uh, Nancy, while Claire is cutting up the squash here, tell us some other ways we can help out the food bank. Well, this year, for the first time, the people have the option of making a non-perishable food donation to us. There are three drop-off sites at the New Haven Free Public Library, at City Hall, or the new Gateway Community College campus. These food donations are going to be crafted into an art installation. Oh! Yes, artists through Project Storefront are going to create interesting models. And this food will be donated to the food bank. We rely on donations from the food industry at all levels and from individuals. This is an interesting way they can give back and they can connect to New Haven's rich arts and cultural traditions. Kind of playing with your food, but for a good cause, I suppose. <laughs> 
All right, Claire, what so, did you do with that? What I've done is I cut the butternut squash All right, in cubes. Simmer a little. And I'm just going to let it simmer a little. I'm putting a little bit of fennel seed in the fennel seed because it has that wonderful, like, Ooh, sausagey like kind that, of meaty yeah. mm. aroma. You're going to get that flavor without adding saturated fat from any kind of meat. Oh. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of fresh basil. And I'm going to just let that, let's put a little salt and pepper. Okay. Okay, so I have a little sea salt today, but any kind of your salt is good. Just, you know, go easy on it. You don't want to make it an unhealthy dish. So I want to just stir it around a little tiny bit. Okay. I'm going to let it soften for about 10 minutes. And while that's softening, I'm going to take the broccoli rabe. Now, broccoli rabe is the, the most bitter of the Italian it's bitter greens. Is it broccoli? Is it's it salad, <laughs> lettuce? What is it? <laughs> okay, it's, it's broccoli. Okay. <laughs> but and you, could see, you could see these beautiful little flowers and the buds and the leaves it's super healthy okay. loaded with iron loaded with vitamin a it is like an antioxidant explosion Very it's good. so good for you and it's it's got that bitter aroma i know we talked about the yes. bitterness of it so what you're going to do is but you get used to it so if you've never had it it's worth getting and trying because it's so healthy for you and really delicious. This is a one, so, po one pot meal here? This is a one pot this meal. Easy. Exactly. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it. I've already washed it. Okay. You remove about, about about a couple of inches, few inches of the stem because those are a little too tough for this dish. But you could save them and you could chop them and put them in a vegetable soup. Oh. You could compost it. So I'm just cutting it in smaller pieces and then you add it to your pot. Okay. So it's really easy. Now. Let's try not to get some seeds in there. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more salt in that, just a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cook down because like other vegetables, it's going to shrink down quite a bit. And I'm going to just stir it around a little bit. And then it's basically going to cook for about 15 minutes. Put okay. a little tiny bit of water in it because there's not a whole lot of liquid okay. in the butternut squash. And it's going to turn out like that? It's going to turn out like this, which makes a fabulous entree mm -hmm. um, side dish. We had it last night, in fact, Very um, good. with lasagna. Well, we're going to taste it at the end of the show. Perfect. Claire. Sounds good. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nancy. And uh, New Haven Restaurant Week is happening November 11th through the 16th. Go to infonewhaven.com for more, uh, all the details there. And to make a non-perishable donation, there are three different locations, as Nancy mentioned, the New Haven Library, City Hall, and Gateway Community College. Ladies, don't go anywhere because we're going to eat at the end of the show. <laughs> Up next, good things to come to students who give back. We'll tell you about the True Fit Good Citizen Scholarship when Connecticut Style returns. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right there. We just want to know, is the school doing anything? This is a serious situation, and we just want a comment from you. Tonight, we've got their back. Take a look at the link. News 8's Tina Detel has their back. We've got your back. We're going to go to the meeting tonight, and we're going to try to get some answers for you. But we asked the DOT just what he's taking so long. I told the mayor he needs to stop dragging his feet and do something about this. What's important about this is the fact that New Haven streets are much safer tonight. Fully loaded, this truck weighs 80,000 pounds. That's 40 tons. Add slow air brakes and heavy duty tires with less grip, and you've got a deadly rolling force on the highway. If you're injured by a rig like this, it's the facts that matter. Did the driver fall asleep? Did the brakes fail? At Trantolo and Trantolo, we know what questions to ask. Injured by a truck? Put the winning tradition of Trantolo and Trantolo on your side and get the settlement you deserve. Chris Murphy is a funny guy. He thinks getting a special loan deal from a big campaign supporter and then voting to bail him out wasn't a big deal. Then he said skipping nearly 80% of his hearings was okay. Now Murphy brags about helping Electric Boat in Groton. Uh, Chris? That submarine in your commercial, it's from Norway, not Groton. Chris Murphy is a funny guy. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. As a private student lender, Citizens Bank is committed to helping students finance their education. And last year, Citizens Bank launched the True Fit Good Citizen Scholarship Program designed to reward students who are extremely dedicated to making their community a better place. One of the winners is here today, Veronica Swain from Fairfield, recently 
won $1,000 in the True Fit Scholarship, and she's joined by Ned Handy, the president of Citizens Bank in Connecticut and Rhode Island. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, Ned, give us an overview of the scholarship program here. So, yeah, it's a great program. It really um, it comes off of our uh, True, True Fit Student Loan Program, which is a very flexible loan uh, program that we developed about a year ago to, to really help students get a get a leg up and get a get a good start in, in, in uh, to higher education. So. Um, this scholarship really ties together what you know is our sort of cultural belief that we need to be involved in the community. So we took students who were going to get a student loan mm -hmm. and, and were active in the community and allowed them to apply for a scholarship and, and wait till you hear about Veronica and you'll see why we did it. <laughs> All right. Well, Veronica, tell us, uh, you, you found the application online mm -hmm. and uh, what exactly, what were you looking to do with it, I suppose? Uh, well, I was looking to do a master's program in environmental education okay. uh, so that I can bring that back with into the community. I work in Bridgeport, and that's where I do a lot of my volunteer work. So in Bridgeport, uh, there's, a lot of, um, there's a lot of opportunity to sort of match uh, a lot of urban city youth and that mm -hmm. sort of thing with uh, a lot of environmental initiatives just to sort of expose them to what is nature, how can we... Uh, live s sustainably within a natural world and how mm -hmm. can we bring that goodness into our home such as healthy cooking there you and go why not? and you mentioned you did some volunteer work about 3700 hours of it <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of it um, and then winners come from where all over the country all over the country we had 5,000 applicants wow. and 40 got scholarships so we're we're joined by one of 40 which is fantastic <laughs> and obviously well deserved and and so yeah we, we really we wanted to, to reach out into our footprint where we where we make student loans and this program is very flexible it can be fixed or float floating rate it can be just repayment can start immediately or it can or it can start six months after graduation you can choose a five-year term or a 10-year term or a 15-year term so we really tried to make it flexible to help students like Veronica, you know, sure. pave, pave the way and get it done. That's true. Now, Veronica, I want to ask you about Bridgeport Beautifies. What is this all about? Bridgeport Beautifies was an amazing project. We really, and it was not just me, it was a team of people that were all AmeriCorps volunteers. Uh, and, and when we were talking about an idea of how could we help Bridgeport, how could it be sustainable, how is it something that could uh, connect a lot of different organizations, um, I just immediately thought urban beautification. Mm -hmm. And so we installed two public murals, a community garden, we had a citywide cleanup day, we had over 300 volunteers participate, we had a plethora of workshops that involved seed uh, planting and mural making, and, and it was amazing because we had all these different organizations that collaborated as well as City Hall. So that project has continued because those organizations are still doing the work. Great. Now, so. we also want to mention that Citizens has online tools for students to prepare and save for college. Yeah, so all students should go on to www.citizensbank.com and look for tips on, on uh, scholarships, on, on uh, financial aid, and also on budgeting to, to be successful during their college career. So it's all, all out there for, uh, for people to go, go check Very out. Very good. All right, let's put some information up on the screen. The TrueFit Good Citizen Scholarship Program and TrueFit Student Loans. You can easily find all the information, as Ned mentioned, at citizensbank.com. Veronica, congratulations on oh, your success you. on all of your projects. Thank you. And I also want to thank Citizens Bank. Very it's, good. It's our pleasure. We're lucky to be able to sponsor people like you. All right, guys. Thanks again. Don't go away. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back. I'm Jonathan Perkins. If a family member has been too badly injured in an accident to come to our office, don't wait until the person is better to talk with us. If you can't come to us, we'll come to you. It's important to document the evidence as soon as possible. Skid marks fade, cars are repaired or destroyed, and witnesses move. Delay is not your friend. Call 1-800-PERKINS or visit our website. Jonathan Perkins Injury Lawyers get the power of Perkins. At The Hills Restaurant, we understand private events are all about creating memories, sharing special moments with your loved ones. Let The Hills Restaurant help you create memories that last a lifetime. For your next private event, let The Hills provide an elegant atmosphere, professional staff, and delicious cuisine. We can also bring the party to you at any location with our full-service catering. We'll take care of the details, so all you have to do is enjoy your event. Call 203-755-1331 or visit thehillsrestaurant.com today to plan your event and create memories that last a lifetime. This is the opposite of subliminal advertising. There's no subtext, just tacos. Yeah, it's our job to make you want it. But honestly, it's not that hard. Old El Paso. 
when you gotta have Mexican. Ring, ring. Progresso. In what world do potatoes, bacon, and cheese add up to 100 calories? In your world. Real bacon. Creamy cheese. 100 calories. Ma'am? Progresso. You gotta taste this soup. So now, how does a nonprofit become a champion in action? I'm back with Ned Handy, the president of Citizens Bank in Connecticut, Rhode Island, with all of the details. And it's so great to be partnering with you oh, it in sure this is program. Uh, so you're now looking for the next uh, citizen in action. Yeah, we are. So in the category of arts and culture, um, we're taking applications. I think we're going to show, but through March 8th at okay. 5 o'clock. Um, and uh, we're looking for uh, agencies that are not-for-profits, 501c3s, have a budget under five million dollars okay. um, and, and who really uh, obviously are in the area of arts and culture and, and give back to the communities through that medium. All right, and do you have any tips for the nonprofits that are applying? Sure, go online, sure, www.citizensbank.com, um, the applications are there, um, and, and tell us your story, tell us how you use arts and culture or, or the arts to, to, uh, to be active in the community, to help out in, in the community, and tell us Tell us some real human stories. All right, you want to make it hit home, right, to everyone yeah. that's judging there. Um, Ned, why is the program so important to Citizens Bank? So w we are invested in the communities. We believe at the core of our culture that it's that it's uh, important to give back and that our communities um, matter a lot to us, and uh, we're only as strong as the communities that we serve. And, and I know that News 8 feels the same way. And so this is a way for us to celebrate um, agencies that do a great job in the community. And through the volunteerism, we, uh, we enable our both of our colleagues to uh, to get involved in the community as well. Sure. And maybe not, maybe they don't get the recognition that they might deserve for all of their hard work. Yeah, these so it's a great prize, too. Uh, the agencies are unbelievable. And the money's okay, but mm -hmm. the visibility sure. that, that is provided, and either for those who will be served by the agency or mm -hmm. for those who might donate to the agency, just to give a little bit more awareness of what they do and what they're all about. Absolutely. Let's put all that information up on the screen as we head over to the kitchen. You can apply. All the applicants must be submitted by Friday, March 8th at 5 p.m. to be considered. All right, we are in the kitchen with Claire, and we are going to try the broccoli rabe and butternut squash. How'd you finish it off? Basically, we're just cooking the ingredients, the olive oil and garlic and the butternut squash and the rabe, and as you said, one pot meal. All right, very <laughs> easy. And then, Veronica, we want to congratulate you again on you. Uh, the scholarship. And uh, don't forget about New Haven Restaurant Week. It's happening, when is it happening? November 11th through the 16th. All right, and don't forget to add that extra dollar to your bill and help the food bank. Absolutely. All right, everybody dig in. Good. It smells awfully it good. It certainly does. Mm -hmm. We want to thank all of our guests here today, but most mm -hmm. of all, mm -hmm. thank you for watching. Uh, make mm -hmm. it a great day. And a big thank you to Citizens Bank as well. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.